Hello. It's been a thoroughly soggy start to the day across western parts of the UK and as I record this, that rain is now setting into parts of the Midlands as well as the southeast. A number of lows lining up to throw weather at us from the Atlantic. This one and its occluded front bringing showers to the northeast. This one bringing some persistent wet weather and another low forming just to the south of it to tighten up the ice bars and send some very strong winds in to the southwest. But Here's the wet weather from earlier in the day, move it on a few hours and it's into Northern Ireland, much of Wales, the Midlands, East Anglia and the South East. It is clearing South Wales and the South West, but here we've got blustery showers and a strengthening wind. We're looking at gusts of 60 mile per hour plus for parts of Pembrokeshire and Cornwall. Exposed parts particularly lively through the afternoon with those showers rushing in as well. Some brighter spells in between and some brightness there for northwest Scotland. Actually, northwest Scotland, the place to be if you uh, fancy some dry and bright weather. Showers affecting the Northern Isles, Caithness, into parts of Aberdeenshire. But for Northern Ireland, northwest England, north Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia, it is a damp afternoon with the heaviest and most persistent rain towards the northwest. And for Northern Ireland, that means there could be some issues because it's been very wet here recently. So a rain warning in force. Now, of course, it's not going to feel particularly pleasant under the rain and where we've got the strong winds. Temperatures not far from average for most of us. We're looking at 6 to 8 Celsius for a large swathe of the UK, close to 12 Celsius around the coast as those winds come in from the west-northwest. And the strongest winds transfer along the English Channel overnight along with the showers. The rain band in the middle tending to ease and turn more showery. And by the end of the night, it's a case of clear spells and showers for many. The showers focus towards the northeast and east of the UK and also those showers continuing across parts of the southwest into parts of Wales as well. But away from the showers, under any clear spells, we'll see a touch of frost, especially for western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, as well as southern parts of the UK, just to the south of this cloud band. And where we've got this cloud, it uh, could lower and give some dense fog patches in the morning as well. So frost and fog to look out for. Also that strong wind along the south coast continuing along with its showers. But through the morning, actually, once any fog clears, once any showers become restricted to mainly coastal areas, well, for many, it's a brightening up process with some sunny spells and largely dry conditions by the afternoon. Showers continue in the southwest as well as the northeast, and for Shetland, they'll become more persistent, falling as snow in places, particularly over higher ground, along with a strengthening wind. But for much of the UK, it's lighter winds, it's brighter skies, and for Northern Ireland, for parts of western Scotland, Wales, into the northwest of England, certainly a fine day to come with that sunshine. Temperatures, again, not far from average for the time of year. High single figures, perhaps low double figures in places, but uh, not feeling as unpleasant, I suspect, given the brighter skies. Into the evening on Tuesday, showers continuing in the west as well as at northern parts of Scotland. And here the wind particularly strengthens, leading to gales or severe gales for Shetland by the end of the evening. The next area of rain and wind lining up in the Atlantic and so the weather stays very unsettled for the rest of the week. An active jet stream throwing more low pressure and weather fronts our way from the west.